Okay, welcome to this quick video on how to get Kafka up and running using Docker Compose on your machine very quickly. Initially, what I'm going to do is run some commands to get Docker up and running and verify that it is running. And I will start a timer just to see how long it takes. But then once it's done or during the process, we can talk a little bit about some of these steps. Okay, just so we give you a bit of information. Let's start the timer and let's run the first command, which is to fetch the Docker Compose file. Okay, so that uses curl. You can manually download it if you want to, and we can see that the file is there. Let's just run Docker Compose up. Okay, and that's pulling these images because I cleaned up my images before running this video so that we don't get an artificial sense of how long it's taking. So I will just talk while that's working in the background, I'll just talk a little bit about Bitnami. So the page for this particular Docker Compose file is Bitnami Kafka page. And Bitnami is a site, kind of a repository for lots and lots of useful Helm charts, Docker Compose images, Docker images, all that kind of stuff. So it's quite a useful place to fetch simple, clean images or testing or otherwise. Maybe you can use them in production as well. Um, quite handy. So if we have a look, at the Bitnami GitHub page, the organization page, you can see that they've got a charts repo which contains Helm charts. So for example, if we go into here, you can see we've got things like Airflow, Cassandra, Console, Ghost, Grafana, lots and lots of useful, in fact, Kafka there as well. We've got all kinds of useful Helm charts, so that's one good thing. And they've also got lots and lots of Docker Compose files as well. So you can go to Docker Hub and have a look on there. And just if we have a look at a quick bit of blurb on their website, Bitnami makes it easy to get your favorite open source software up and running on any platform, including your local laptop, Kubernetes and all major clouds. So probably something to bookmark. It's quite handy. Have a little scoot around their GitHub page. Okay, so while this is running, I might actually stop talking and skip the video a little bit forward fast, but we'll leave the timer running. Okay, until it's downloaded. Okay, we're back. So we've started Docker Compose now. So now this command here to actually create a topic should execute if Kafka is up and running. So let's try that. Okay, so as you can see, we've now created two topics. The first time around, we've got a warning. I think it was just warming up. We created one topic called users and we created another topic called users two. So that shows that it's up and running. It took about four, four and a half minutes. Bear in mind that once you've done this Docker Compose up and it's managed to fetch all the images, taking it up again, it'll be a lot faster. So if we just say Docker, Docker Compose down, Okay, that's taking the images down. We'll see how long it takes to, I'll start another timer. Google stopwatch. Okay, let's see how long it takes this time. And bingo, we're up. Okay, so now we should be able to create another one. Well, it uses three. And you can see this time around the Docker Compose up command took around 15, 20 seconds. So a ridiculously fast way of getting up and running. Okay, and as you can see, the topic has been created. So I sped up the process of the actual creation there just because it takes a while to create the first one. So we can stop the timer. Let's just go back to our previous timer. So it took around four and a half minutes to get Kafka up and running first time around. And the second time around, it was much, much faster, probably around 30 seconds to get Docker Compose to come up. So I think the key takeaways are that Bitnami is a useful place to get Helm charts and Docker images from. You can spin up Kafka with Zookeeper very quickly in less than five minutes and create your first topic and your kind of up and running using Docker Compose. And that's about it. I hope that was useful.